She is a woman of God. Actually, she says she is a prophetess and she has a confession. And I'm humbled that people of her kind will come to us with their challenges when the one that receives and counsels others for their challenges is challenged who gives them the help. And that is why we're here in the confessions booth just to listen to her. Her story, her vents, her frustrations, my ears are wide open and my lips are sealed. My lady, you're welcome to confessions. Thank you, Miss Nancy. Your story, I'm listening. All right, what I'm currently going through has crippled me and I'm so helpless at the moment and I think I have to talk to someone. It all started from when I had an invitation to a church to minister and a gospel musician came to sing and his ministration really touched my heart. Mm -hmm. So I decided to invite him over to my church too. Okay. When he came, he was able to perform wonders and all my church members were amazed. Wow. So wherever I go to minister, he go with me to mm -hmm. pave way for the Holy Spirit with his sweet voice. Mm -hmm. Some time passed and he told me about God revealing to him that I am supposed to be her wife. Oh. And as a woman of God, I hold so dear to my heart, my faith and my dedication to God's word. So I put that to prayer mm. and I gave in to dating him. Mm. We dated for eight months mm -hmm. and fortunately nothing happened. Oh, great. I was so happy because my belief was that I am supposed to wait till I'm married before I have sex. Of course. And he never made any sexual advances oh, towards me. Oh, what a decent so, man. Eventually, I married as a virgin and I was so happy oh, about it. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you, madam. The sisterhood is proud of you. There are very few virgins in Ghana now. What I'm about to tell you will blow your mind mm. because our marriage started and no sex was going on. There was no sex. I, I thought it was a joke, but anytime... What, what, what do you mean by the marriage started and no sex was going on? You had gotten married... Yes, please. Yet you were not having sex. No, no sexual intercourse was going on. Yes, please. Because anytime he wants to have sex, he wants anal sex. Did you go for honeymoon? Yes, please. Through all that, no sex happened till we came back. I thought it was a joke, but later he insisted his intention of having anal sex with me. The man would only have the backside of his own wife. Yes, please. Does he intend to have children? I don't know. He just wants inner sex. <sighs> okay. So, I gave it some time, but still, that was what he was looking forward to. So, the extent that he left home for three weeks, leaving me all lonely. And that is what blew my mind to just take a decision that has brought me to this traumatic situation. What decision did you take? I decided to give in to the inner sex. Hey, my sister. Yes, please. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was so helpless because he's my husband and I'm supposed to satisfy him sexually. Even though it was so against my belief, but I, I just needed to save my man. So I gave you save your man and save your marriage by giving your backside to your man so against you. your own principles and values and your <laughs> sexual preference. Yes, I gave in to the inner sex. That is why I'm here because currently speaking, I'm in so much pain because the act is just getting my head off. No, no. Uh, uh, so even when you gave in to the backside, he's not using the front? No, please. I thought... I gave him because initially I was thinking it would happen once and he would be satisfied because I think he was just trying something new. But he's just insisted and it has been consistent in our And he's so currently, as you sit here as a woman, you've never had any sexual intercourse from your front side, from no. your vagina, where it's supposed to be? Yes, even though I'm a virgin, I've never had it today. By your backside, the virginity has been broken? Yes, please. Hi. Hi, a woman of God, a prophetess. Did you pray about this? It has distorted every spiritual aspect of my life because, you know, it is very few days to do that. That is why I'm here. I need help. Even though I'm a woman of God, you know, things could be out of control. Oh, 
Well, the man says that you are my wife, but the only place I want to enter is the backside. And she's endured it because she was a woman of God. When those who are supposed to receive and help others with challenges are challenged, who do they go to? Let us go into the studio. My studio guests are ready and my resource persons are ready. And uh, this is not exactly a nice confession, my dear. I'm sorry, okay? Thank you.